Hey everybody, Asher with Chin Sense back with another week in fragrance. I'm actually shooting this pretty late at night. I'm gonna edit this tomorrow morning and that's when you're gonna see it. I've got a number of new releases. Most of these I actually just found out about over the last couple of days. So for a while there, I was thinking this was gonna be a really slow week, but then some of the new releases that have been announced have made this much more interesting. We have over 10 new releases to go over this week, including new ones from Paco Rabanne, Calvin Klein, Dolce & Gabbana, Montal, and more. So without further ado, let's jump into this. It's another week in fragrance. All right, guys, first off, let's talk about that Paco Rabanne. It's a new Invictus flanker called Invictus Legend. I don't have the official write-up for this, so I don't have that fancy description that's gonna come out a little bit later for this one from Paco Rabanne. I do have the note breakdown, though, and obviously the picture of the bottle itself. So this one is gonna have a top note of geranium, a mid of aldehydes and bay leaf, and then a base of amber, honey, and guyac wood. So I don't know what you guys think about that, but to me that seems like a pretty large deviation from where the Invictus line has gone in the past. I don't see any citrus notes here, which the original Invictus and Invictus Aqua both had. So I'm not really sure how close this one's gonna smell to the original or to Invictus Intense or Invictus Aqua. Just looking at these notes, it looks like maybe it's gonna be a little creamy, sweet, resinous. But we're gonna have to wait until some people get their hands on it to figure out what exactly this smells like. A lot of the flankers released this year have been good ones, so I'm hopeful that this one's gonna be good as well. The new Invictus is almost here, Invictus Legend. All right, next up, let's talk about the new Calvin Klein. It's the new CK1 Summer Edition for 2019. Obviously, they get one of these every single year. It's been that way, I think, since 2004. One thing you'll notice is the bottle design here is a lot different than what you've seen in the past from CK1 Summer Editions. The CK1 Summer Edition bottles come in the typical CK1 bottle, which this one does too, uh, but usually they've been really bright and colorful. And sometimes they've made little alterations on the bottle, like I think it was 2017 had kind of a leaf pattern on the bottle, uh, but this one is just going like that as almost like a comic book art slash Moschino kind of look to it. So for some of you out there, that bottle is gonna look like a, a welcome addition, a welcome change. And for others of you out there, you're gonna hate it. Now these are the notes that this one is supposed to have from what I found online. A top of mojito cocktail, lime and marine notes, a mid of guava and green tea, and a base of cedar and driftwood. One thing with CK1 Summer Editions is that they're heavily heavily discounted, not long after they're released. So if you're interested in this one, I highly suggest you wait just a little while and then you can pick it up for about $25. And CK1 Summer Bottles always make their way to discounters, at least in the US and I'm assuming in the UK as well. So in the US and TJ Maxx, Brosses and Marshalls, CK1 Summer Bottles always pop up not long after they're released. Next up, I wanna talk about a fragrance release from Michael Bolton, yes. Michael freaking Bolton. I'm just gonna go ahead and read this off for you. In February 2019, Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter Michael Bolton is launching the fragrant collection Time, Love, and Tenderness. Capturing the essence of one of Michael's hit albums and songs, Time, Love, and Tenderness, is a three-piece fragrance collection designed to be both delicate and romantic a soulful fragrance for women. And I know that most of my viewers are men, but it's Michael Bolton. I had to talk about this. So this comes with Time, which is a 3.4 ounce body lotion, Love, which is a 1.7 ounce eau de parfum, and Tenderness, a 3.4 ounce shower gel. Part of me thinks that this is really cheesy, and part of me thinks that this is really awesome. The fragrance Love opens with a fruity and juicy cocktail of peach, apple, orange, and bergamot. The flowery heart brings romance, gathering sparkling orange blossom, roses, violets, and elegant jasmine flowers. The base notes offer the deep, warm, and subtle notes of patchouli, vanilla, amber, and musk. You can scoop up this trio at Michael Bolton's website and it's gonna run you $39.95. So maybe if your mom is a huge Michael Bolton fan or your wife or your girlfriend or whoever, whoever out there is into Michael Bolton, you gotta scoop this up. I would just absolutely litter 
this video with Michael Bolton songs if I could, but then it would get a copyright strike and be taken down. All right, next up, let's talk about the new Hermes fragrance, Un Jardin Sur Les Lagunes. This obviously is going to fit into their uh, garden line of fragrances, which are really nice fragrances, very high quality. I own a number of them. This new release leads us to Venice and reveals the magic of a hidden place behind a stone wall. This fragrance uses floral notes of magnolia and Madonna lily, along with sea and wood nuances to conjure up a secret garden on the water. The story that Hermes presents for this fragrance is about a mysterious garden that an English lord built on the water inside a lagoon in Venice. The vegetation survived the test of time and the wind and salty water left crystal deposits on the flowers. Notes here include magnolia, pitosporum, madonna lily, sea breeze, samphire, and woody notes. And I know a lot of guys out there and girls are gonna pick that one up because that's a line of fragrances that people just really seem to enjoy. All right, next up, let's talk about the new Dolce & Gabbana light blue flankers, one for men and one for women. I basically just got through trashing the uh, Dolce & Gabbana light blue release for men in 2018, Italian Zest. Uh, in my opinion, one of the worst releases of the entire year. They tricked me with that release, Italian Zest. I ended up buying it at full retail and they are tricking me again. I've got to say, because this is one that I actually am really wanting again. So this one is called Light Blue Pour Homme Sun, and the women's is just Light Blue Sun. The bottle and box look like this. I actually had to trawl all over the internet and I managed to find this one picture. And I've got to say, I actually really, really like the design on it. It's got kind of a tarot card slash throwback Italian design and it looks interesting to me. Let's go over these notes. So this is for light blue Pour Homme Sun, the men's version. It's got a top of bergamot, ginger, ozonic notes, and frozen grapefruit, a mid of rosemary, cypress, coconut, and cedar, and a base of vanilla, oak moss, vetiver, and white musk. I would like to tell you guys that I won't order it at full retail this year, like I did last year and hated it, but realistically, I'll probably make the same mistake again. So hopefully this one's good. Now the women's release, Light Blue Sun, uh, all I've got is a picture of the bottle and it's here. So you're probably gonna need a magnifying glass to check that out. That's the best picture that I can find right now. The women's version has a top of lemon, Granny Smith apple, ozonic notes, and coconut. And depending on where you look, it's either just straight up coconut or coconut water. And that's for the men's version as well. So in the mid of the men's and the top of the women's, it's either coconut or coconut water. And I haven't been able to verify exactly which one yet. A couple of websites say coconut and then one website says coconut water. So either way, basically coconut. Back on subject. The mid of the women's version has jasmine, white rose, and frangipani. And it has a base of cedar, amber, white musk, and vanilla. So two new flankers to light blue, one for men, one for women. Okay guys three new Montals. First up, Vetiver Patchouli. I got this information from Montal's website. Interestingly, if you put that you're from the US, it just kicks you back to the homepage, but if you put that you're from Europe, it lets you see all this stuff. So, Montal Vetiver Patchouli. A tribute to sophistication, whose freshness cannot mask the voluptuousness of its hypnotic notes of vetiver and jasmine. The writing here seems a little off, but we'll go with it. The daring of pink pepper, the sweetness of carrot, and the magnetic warmth of patchouli leaves give to this fragrance a very masculine plant depth. It has great plant depth. So that's Vetiver Patchouli. The next one is called Sensual Instinct. Sensual Instinct invites you to let your primitive instinct take over. Mm. A lush, warm, and dense fragrance that combines vibrant notes of roasted coffee with the mysteries of rose and creates a praline balance of mesmerizing sensuality. This olfactory nugget is sublimated by precious amber notes and the subtlety of cedarwood and oak moss. It's an olfactory nugget. It has an irresistible sillage, elegant and beastly obsessive. We're heading into English territories here. Elegant and beastly obsessive. I'm not exactly sure what that means. And last up, Oud Dream. A wonderfully exotic, spicy, and honeyed fragrance. Gently sweet and slightly musky, Oud Dream is a sensual and bewitching fragrance. The rose, the oud, and the patchouli leaves envelop, as in a dream, this new refined creation with a leathery sillage. So there we have three new Montal fragrances to keep your eyes open for. Montal is a niche house that is very consistent with releasing new fragrances. 
And before I go further with the last couple of fragrances, I wanna ask you guys, um, would you be interested in me doing maybe like a bi-weekly companion piece to This Week in Fragrance where I talk about more indie and niche fragrances? Because a lot of times, uh, the time that I have for this video gets eaten up mainly covering designers. Because I know that's what the vast majority of you out there are interested in. But there are lots and lots of niche and indie fragrances that are announced each week, and in general, I don't have enough time to cover them. So I was thinking maybe I could do a companion to this video, either released on the same day or one after another, something like that, where I talk about the indie and niche fragrances in a little more detail. Maybe cover some fragrances that would otherwise be left out. Because I know this week, there are probably at least 10 that I would have covered had I had the time because I don't want this video to run 20, 25 minutes every week. But if I have a separate niche and indie video, I could cover them there. So if you'd be interested in that, let me know uh, and I'll start doing them if you are. But that out of the way, last two fragrances. These fragrances are both for women and then I do have a code for you after this. So first up, Prada Candy Night. Prada will launch Candy Night, a new fragrance for women, which is a flanker to 2011's Prada Candy. I don't have a ton of information on this fragrance, from the house, experience Prada by night, the contradiction of sparkling energy, and addictive double sweetness. The notes for the Gourmand Oriental include orange chocolate caramel and white musk. So if you or your lady friend or some other person you know is into Prada candy fragrances, be on the lookout for that one. The last one I wanna talk about is from Mugler. It's Mugler Aura Sensuel. Now this is a flanker obviously to Mugler Aura, and I found numerous pictures of the bottle right here, and it does look nice. But going through numerous websites, even stores in Europe, I couldn't find any notes on this, at least what I could find. So if you have more info on this, maybe leave it in the comments because I couldn't even find a single note on it. And the stores that I did find it on online in Europe, which doesn't really matter to me because I can't order it, they won't ship it here, but at least I could find a write-up on it. They just say pre-order, and that's it, no more information. But if you like the original, maybe keep your eyes open for this one. Code time, fragrancebuy.ca. This is a Canadian discounter. They have lots of fragrances at really good prices and sometimes they get stuff in there that isn't available on US discounters yet. For example, I purchased the One Mysterious Night from fragrancebuy.ca. And that's actually one that I'm planning on reviewing here in the near future. And I have not seen that available at any US discounters yet. When you check the prices there, they're in Canadian dollars and then it switches to US dollars if you're in the US. And it's actually beneficial because the US dollar is worth more than the Canadian dollar. Sorry to all my Canadian friends. Uh, but it works out in your favor if you're in the US. I have used fragrancebuy.ca lots in the past. I've talked about it before on my channel. But they gave me a code, gents, right here, gents. And that gives you free shipping on any order over $55 in the US or Canada. It's good until March 15th. So if you've been looking at fragrancebuy.ca and you want to save a little money, use that code. If you haven't looked at it before, you can check it out, see if there's anything there that you want, use that code, save some money. And uh, just FYI, I said this on my group as well, that's not actually a, an affiliate code, I don't get any kickback for that. It's actually associated with an upcoming review. I just haven't done that review yet and where this only lasts until March 15th, I want to get that code out as soon as possible so that you guys can save money now instead of a week from now. And as always, Fragrance Net 37% off. Here it is, hasn't changed. If you shop at Fragrance Net, use this code. Don't use the 30% off code, use 37. All right guys, it's gonna do it for me for this week in fragrance. Let me know what are you most excited for? The new Invictus, the new Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, maybe one of those Montals, or the Michael Bolton. This is probably the Michael Bolton. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. See you guys again next week with another week in fragrance. And do let me know if you're interested in the indie niche week in fragrance. We can make it happen. Or I guess I can make it happen. Whatever. I'll see you guys next week.